What's up, YouTube? And ho ho ho, it is Christmas time. I am Domino. Welcome to our anime review of episode 50. Now, we have been gone for quite a while doing our Ultra Moon playthrough. If you've missed that, make sure you check it out. Now, the anime has gotten a little wild since we left, and I'm super excited to jump back in and watch all these episodes for the first time, of course, and to upload the review right after I watch it. Now, if you watch this episode, make sure you let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of it was. And if you wind up enjoying this review, go and hit the like button and do subscribe if you're new and want to be a part of the domination of the Pokemon community. Now, this episode starts off as many of the, pre the previous episodes had where Lily is journaling. I think this is just going to be a thing. I think this is just where we're at in this Sun and Moon anime. I think Lily is the focus and we'll talk more about that in a little bit um, but anyway Lily's journaling and reflecting on what happened in the last episode where they were at Aether Paradise and she came face to face with Silvalli and was very scared until it saved her life etc etc you can of course check out our anime review of that episode um, but now she says that she owes Silvalli her life because it saved her twice and she feels bad etc etc she wants to touch all kinds of Pokemon it goes over to Aether Paradise where we see Lusamine, Wick, and Burnett talking, and Lusamine's reflecting on um, how, how upset she is for not noticing about Lily's fear uh, with the Ultra Beasts. It just doesn't seem like the Lusamine that had been built up in the original Sun and Moon game. Um, but we'll get to that at the end of this video, of course. Um, Faba's nowhere to be found. They can't find Faba. Um, nobody knows where he went. It goes now then it flashes up to the Pokemon school where Lily starts playing with all the Pokemon touching everybody you know we've been we knew this was gonna happen eventually uh, but of course she goes to touch Turtonator and as he always does Turtonator blows up everything and then Kukui enters and the episode begins the episodes called Faba's counterattack Nebby disappears the actual episode starts off in Aether, where Gladion confronts Lusamine, um, looking for Faba. Gladion's looking for Faba, probably because he knows what Faba's trying to do. Um, Lusamine's trying to talk to Gladion to try and, I guess, come to, like, uh, you know, try to figure out my hat's not straight. Anyway, uh, I'm trying to figure out, like, um, what they can do to, I guess, alleviate any bad air between the two of them, etc., etc. And Gladion just leaves. Um, at the Pokemon school, they're doing jump rope for the day. Um, Ash and Pikachu go up first, and it seems like Mario Odyssey. They're just sitting there jumping. That was the first thing that came to mind, was Mario Odyssey. Um, but, um, you know, they trip up, blah, blah, blah. Ash decides he's going to jump with Nebby, who happens to be sleeping, plot armor, etc., etc. But then we see that Faba is watching the group behind, like, watching the group of school kids. Hold that thought. And he has an Electro Catcher. He's going to try and catch Nebby. He's trying to open an Ultra Wormhole. So Lily and Vulpix go next, and all the Pokemon join in, including Turtonator. You know, Turtonator's been, Turtonator and Kiawe have been like the comedic reliefs. So I thought that Turtonator was going to ruin everything. Nope. He gets in there, and there's like seven other Pokemon plus Lily, and they're just all jumping at the same time and having a great time. It was very interesting how that worked out. The physics didn't seem right to have Turtonator jumping rope right behind Lily. That the, anyway, anyway, especially since Rotom was whole. Um, anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, Baba comes back and he's dressed as a janitor because he doesn't want to stick out too much. Um, but he winds up drawing attention and says he's gonna have to switch to Plan B. Yahweh and Marowak come up next. Blah blah blah. Faba winds up luring Nebby out of Ash's backpack with star candy. Faba's hidden inside of like a bush or something. It's like we're playing PUBG out here. I don't even play PUBG or is it Fortnite? I don't know. Whichever of the games it is that people were like disguising themselves as a bush and running around. Um, but Faba is literally the creeper that lures kids away from school with candy. Oh my goodness, I hate this character. Also, we're calling him Faba now instead of Salbo because I just finished playing Ultra Moon, and so now it's stuck in my head. It's drilled in my head as Faba. We get to see Team Rocket who are selling donuts, and they're reflecting on when they were at the Aether Paradise and how bad Faba is, and they see Faba hiding in a bush um, and trying to lure Nebby towards them, and they get really angry because Faba's disguise is absolutely terrible, and we know Team Rocket's been disguising themselves for 20 years, Blah, blah, blah. Um, just a little funny little thing. Baba goes to catch 
Nebby and instead gets Wobbuffet. <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny. And Team Rocket runs off with Nebby saying that they want to take it back to their base, but I think they're talking about like their Kanto base to give it to Giovanni because Nebby teleports them to where Beware is and then Nebby just flies off because of course Beware holds on to Team Rocket. I don't know what this Beware is doing. I can't wait to find out. Ultra Moon didn't give any, excuse me. Ultra Moon didn't give any notification as to, um, et cetera, et cetera, as to what this Beware is doing. But anyway, where am I? Oh, Nebby then teleported back to Faba, and Faba decides to be nice to Nebby to try and get it to teleport it back to Aether, which Nebby, of course, does. It's so convenient. Um, now, right before Nebby teleports, Rowlet wakes up and alerts Ash that Nebby's out of the bag. Uh, but anyway, as the group turns and looks at Faba and Nebby, Nebby teleports them, and they're gone. And Gladian comes up to the group, trying to figure out what in the world happened, blah, blah, blah. They decide, okay, Baba and Nebby probably teleported to Aether, so we need to get to Aether. And Lily goes, we have a quick way that we can get there. And they have like this plane that comes and flies over and takes the three of them off to Aether Paradise. The rest of the gang stays back. Now this is where things get oh, wild. Now, at Aether, um, Fava has the machine that comes out with Nebby. Now, if you remember in Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon, where Lusamine is holding Nebby in that little box, that little crate thing, well, that's what Fava has. And he, it's, he like opens it, and Nebby's curiosity gets him, like he just goes into it, and then Fava closes it, and he's trapped. He can't teleport out, um, and things are just starting to get wild. Nebby's power is getting sucked from him and the wormhole is opening. It's just what you would expect to happen. It's just what happened in the game, except it's with Faba, who's actually the bad guy, at least so far. Maybe I'll find out in one of the next episodes that I'm wrong on that. So the, uh, the three that were coming, Ash, Gladion, and Lily get to Aether, um, and Ash, like, spears, um, spears Faba against the wall and tries to fear, uh, tries to free Nebby, but he can't. So Gladion has his Umbreon new Shadow Ball, Pikachu uses Iron Tail, and Nebby is freed, and the wormhole disappears. But then, Nebby starts to glow like he's evolving, which he is. He winds up, <clears throat> excuse me, he winds up evolving into Cosmoem right there, and because of all the power that he had put out before, the wormhole appears again, and Nihilego comes out. Oh my goodness! And then Lily is terrified. Now, Lily wasn't supposed to come. Gladion didn't want Lily to come, but Lily came because she's trying to be a big girl and wants to help and is worried about Nebby, etc., etc., etc. But Lusamine winds up having to go over and hold on to Lily um, to try and, you know, try and comfort her because Lily's terrified because she got grabbed by Nihilego, which you get, blah, 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 blah. Um, but Lusamine, while she's holding Lily, looks up at Nihilego, and it's like she just looked up at, like, I don't know, like, like a brownie cookie crumble. Like her face is just like, oh my god, Nihi Lego, I want you. It's 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 a little it's 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 wild. Um, so <laughs> Faba is talking to Nihi Lego and he's like, Nihi Lego, take me with you. And, and Nihi Lego just smacks him and knocks him off. It, it was it was pretty funny. Um, but then Nihi Lego closes in on uh, the rest of them. But Lusamine has Clefable use Dazzling Gleam. No, it does no effect. Nihilego duplicates. Savali comes out to fight, gets blasted back. Pikachu attacks, but is no use. And then Nihilego goes for Lily again. Uh, Lusamine comes, grabs onto Lily, protecting her. Gladion, Vulpix, Umbreon, Silvalli all standing in front of Lily. Why is Lily so important? I don't get it. Why is this girl, why, why is she so relevant? In this series, in the games, I love Lily, don't get me wrong, but I just don't get it. I just don't get it right now. Why is Lily so important? Why do the Ultra Beasts want Lily? I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, but Gladion is standing in front of right where, right where he Lego's gonna grab him. And L Lusamine knocks him out of the way. He, uh, L L L L L Lusamine gets picked up by Nihi Lego, and Nihi Lego and Lusamine go into the portal, and the episode ends absolutely wild like i said things are getting wild i'm going straight into the next episode so we're not going to talk about it i don't even i didn't even look at the preview because i'm about to watch it right now after i finish this video 
But anyway, let me know what your favorite part about the episode was. Let me know what you th actually don't let me know what you think happens next because you probably already know what happens next because you've probably already seen it. But if you wound up checking out this video, make sure you hit the like button down below. And if you want to become a member of the domination of the Pokemon community, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. We'll see you in a couple days, I think, for the next Ultra, or excuse me, the next Sun and Moon anime review. Until then, have a blessed day.